Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about the sine series, sine series. So now we can also write an expansion of uh, the function that we have which is f on the interval from 0 to l that contains only sine terms. So we are going to have only sine terms in this case. Okay, and instead of cosine as we have mentioned in the previous video we're going to talk about sine terms only here. Now reflect the graph of f on this interval through the origin to create an odd function h on the interval minus l to l. Okay, so this is as, assume that this is our function from 0 to l for example here. Then we are going to reflect it through the origin and then it is going to bring us this as if it is the function between minus l and l. Our, our interest is that if this function can be reflected on the origin. This this means that it's odd function. Okay, this means that we can we can exp uh, make expansion for this function using sine series. That's the the issue here. Okay, so this is what we call it the odd extension of a function defined from zero to l. Okay, as if that we are checking it that it can be reflected on or mirrored through this origin if it's okay then this means that we we can like expand it using sine terms only the Fourier expansion of this function h on minus l to l has only sine terms because h is odd on the whole interval from minus l to l but h of x which is equal f of x on 0 to l so this gives a sine expansion of f on the interval 0 to L, as we said, the, the right part from 0 to L. This suggests the following definition. This is the important thing, okay? So forget about this, and now let's go to the important part here, which is the Fourier sine coefficient of the function f on this interval from 0 to L, okay? So we're talking about, we're talking about this part now, okay? This is our interest. Okay, so the coefficients, in this case, we are going to give it bn, okay, b subscript n equals to 2 over l, which is the interval end here, the integration from 0 to l, the function itself multiplied by sine n pi x over l, okay, so this, this is the coefficients that we are going to use, okay, and this coefficients, okay, this coefficients, are going to be used in the expansion of the series okay how we are going to do it we're going to assume that our expansion okay using four year series of the function is going to be the summation of bn times sine n pi x over l where this n is going to take the value from 1 to infinity any number of terms that we want and this bn that already we have defined here this is the coefficient that we are going to use and this n is going to take an integer it is 1 2 3 4 whatever okay then this is the expansion here there is no constant term here okay because no n whenever it, it goes to 0 then we are going to find that we are going to find it is 0 right so even that bn we say that there is a constant term as we have said in the cosine it will not work here because it will vanish okay it will take give us zero here so we are having only the terms here if, if we compare it with the cosine for example okay so the cosine Fourier cosine expansion it was having like constant term here and then another terms with cosine but in our sine in our sine we're going to find that the expansion is going to be only sine terms. There is no constant term here because it is already, as I said, it is going to be zero. Okay, so this is the expansion. We call this is the Fourier sine series of the function on the interval from zero to L. Okay, okay, nice. Let's go now and look about, look to the convergence, how we are going to look or how we are going to find the convergence of the Fourier sine series. So if our function is piecewise smooth on the interval from 0 to L, 
thin. The first convergence point here is if inside if x inside the interval if x between 0 and l the Fourier sine series for the function on this interval converts to what exactly as we have done in the cosine series half the function of x from the right plus the function of the same x from the left convergence this is convergence from right this is as we said convergence from left okay if we are talking about any function so any function at the middle here this is what we mean it by convergence from left and right okay and the second we are expecting it to be at the ends right so at x equal to 0 and x at equal to l they are the ends of the interval talking about 0 to l this sign series converts to what exactly 0 it converts to 0 so if we are having something like like this for example then we're going to find here and here they are going to converge to what exactly zero they are going to zero as we are going to see and this condition which is condition two is obvious because each sign term in the series vanish at x equal to zero that's right so if you are going to put zero or l you are going to find that it will vanish okay it means that the function would give us zero and at x equal l at x equal to 0 and x equal to uh, l we are going to find the sign terms all the sign terms they are going to what sine 0 okay it equal to 0 okay and anything sign uh, like pi whatever and here this is l you are going to find at the end if we have n pi n pi x sorry n pi x okay over L so this means that you are going to end up with 0 okay at the substitution when you sub substitute with x equal to L also okay now let's go to the example to implement what we have explained before okay let's assume that we have f of x equal to e raised to the power 2x as we have done in the cosine uh, example that we have done in the previous video so x is going to be on the interval from 0 to 1 equating them or also we are taking or it assumes the same uh, 0 and 1 inside from within the interval we will write the Fourier sine now we are talking about sine okay series of the function from 0 to 1 the coefficients is are going to be bn this is bn okay then it is going to be 2 over l means 2 over 1 and here the integration from 0 to 1 e raised to the power 2x sine n pi x over l which is over 1 okay dx now this is this is an integration limited integration we can do it very easily I think and you can do it without thinking too much so we can end up with this fraction one term is bringing us something times cosine n pi x over l and another ter term which is something times sine n pi x over the uh, denominator okay then obviously we have this sine n pi x over over l here for 1 or for 0 it is going to be 0 right it would vanish then we are going to end up with this term over the denominator as it is and cosine n pi x over l as we said many times we can put it as minus 1 raised to the power n okay please revisit previous videos and you are going to understand what I'm talking about okay so this is how it ends up here so the sine expansion of e raised to the power 2x on the interval from 0 to 1 is going to be we're going to put it the summation from n equal to 1 to infinity any number of terms 2 times n pi times between whatever inside the parentheses over 4 plus n squared pi squared times exactly the sine term times the sine term here okay okay so this means that we are we are going to have the expansion of our function on this interval as defined using 
four year sine series as you can see this series converts to e raised to the power 2x for any value between 0 and 1 and it would uh, convert to 0 at x equal 0 and at x equal to 1 okay so this is going to be shown in the next figure so as you can see the jagged line here this is the Fourier series look here at any point you choose at any point here for example from the left which is f sorry from the right which is f of x from the right plus or from the left f of x minus it is converts to what exactly f of x which is e raised to the power 2x okay now let's go to the ends where that add zero add zero we're going to find that exactly look here it goes to zero and here at l this is l so it goes up and down and then it goes to zero this is the convergence here for us okay it is going to be zero right because sine sine zero it is zero and sine pi or any multiplication of it is going to be zero also so we are reaching to this zero okay this is the 40th 40th partial sum of the sine series of the example that we are uh, taking care of okay so this is after 40th means that 40 the four year series succeeded to almost um, match the original function after 40 after putting 40 terms if you go to the the same example that we have done but it is it was related to using cosine right look here it is the fifth five terms only and it was very smooth very smooth function right very smooth function this means that cosine four year cosine series might represent the function uh, quite accurately and with less number of terms co compared to the sine or four year sine, sine series okay okay so this is the end of this um, uh, the end of this uh, example uh, and the end of this video thank you and see you in the next video